All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this, but this is another update to my Easy2 DJ machine, and uh, not a lot of people know this unless you actually came out to play this, but uh, club mix on my machine would always crash, and recently I found out the reason why the game would always crash, and that's because I was running a outdated motherboard for the game, and it was not able to process the game mode for some reason. So it always crashed on that mode, but now it doesn't. Uh, so recently I got a motherboard in that uh, had the right uh, chips on it that runs the same thing as the other actual game board. So I got that, put it in, and voila, everything works now. The only bad thing right now is the graphics driver is actually outdated, so it's loading stuff really slow on some of the menus when it's like there's a ton of graphical stuff going on. So we'll go ahead and throw in a few grads here and show you that Club Mix is now working. Put on here, hit them on these buttons. Yeah, I wasn't sure how well this is going to end up working out, but it worked out actually pretty good. You'll see it's it takes a long time to load because of uh, the outdated graphics right now. Well, it's not outdated. It's, it's better than my old video card, but it needs... Uh, the, what, the drivers installed. So we'll go ahead and hit Club Mix. Load. My favorite song. I'm not gonna play it. Obviously, I'm holding my iPad up. But. Go sit here, it's gonna load for a few seconds because, again, graphics, it has to load everything and it takes forever for that reason. But eventually, yep, there it goes. It'll go into uh, Club Mix. And yeah, that's what I've been up to recently on this machine. I'm so, so happy it's finally fully working. It was so hard to find a motherboard the right motherboard that will run the game. So, yeah. You're not gonna be able to see the inside, but it's like a freaking mess over here. Like, oh man. It's been it's been a crazy day with working on this, and I'm happy that it's all working down now. So yeah, there's my update. Hopefully it's gonna be one of my last updates for Easy2 DJ, because everything will work smoothly once I update the graphic drivers for this game. So yeah, there's Easy2 DJ. Thanks for checking it out. Alright guys, it's been a few days since my last video. Um, so if you saw the first part, this is the second part. And I'm actually filming it a couple days after I did the PC upgrade to my EZT DJ machine. But I figured I'd talk a little bit about why it was so difficult for me to find an upgrade for this uh, the main board for the EZ2 DJ machine. And there's a few reasons why it's actually pretty difficult. Uh, what it really, really comes down to, though, is it needs a certain VIA chipset. Like, um, on the motherboard, it has to have the right VIA chip uh, for everything to function properly for the the game to boot with the right uh, with the operating system correctly, and for the uh, I/O board to work correctly with the game. It needs to have the right VIA chipset. So finding that was not super hard, but it was difficult. But the big problem was trying to find a, the VIA chipset um, with a ISA slot, which is one of these really, really old school slots. And this is what the I.O. board uses on the Easy 2 dj PC, and it was it's very hard to find those two together. And if uh, you find them usually... It's usually one of these sockets I found out, which is a socket 7. And I'm already running the fastest processor on it, which is a AMD K6 II, I believe it's called. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, actually seen that processor and whatnot. And it's obviously uh, plastered with thermal paste. So I can't really tell. But um, yeah, that's, that's why this was really, really hard to upgrade. And the processing was the reason why, I guess, that it just kept uh, freezing during club mix mode because the new board is having absolutely no issues loading. 
Uh, another big problem with this board is the type of uh, graphics port it has. Uh, it has the more old school um, graphics port on it. So the new one I just put in there has a newer style kind of um, uh, AGP port. So yeah, so I can upgrade it so it can run the game perfectly fine now. The processor is going to match uh, that of the actual arcade versions very soon and then I'm going to be upgrading actually the video card. The I read online what video card I was supposed to buy and I found out later that it actually when they sent out the graphics card for that version of the game it actually had issues and they uh, a lot of arcades uh, just replaced it themselves with this uh, new uh, graphics card. I'm trying to find that graphics card, and I think I found a few places that are selling it, so... Uh, this actually won't be the last update video, believe it or not. When I get the the new graphics card and processor, I'll probably update it and show you how smooth the game runs then. But uh, that's pretty much all, all I've done for it for right now. And I mean, I've been working, oh gosh, like almost 40 hours this week at work, so I haven't had much time to really screw around with any of my computer parts, my DDR videos, or anything like that, so just waiting for a day off to really, really immerse myself into uh, working on more arcade stuff in the DDR videos. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I was up to a couple days ago when I had some free time. Uh, and that's all for me for right now. I'll be uploading more videos of my progress on this board very, very soon, so thanks for watching, guys.